bank account. Then we move on. Um, I think the rest is quite self-explanatory or it's basically the same thing. Same here with VSEC, we received money from a debtor and then here we did sales, same concept. Um, put them both in my till, rule off for the day, send to bank. Record my sales, record my cost of sales and then what was the 35884? Money that I received from a debtor. Okay, same thing happened on the 20th, sales, cash sales, CRR, received money from um, S Riverland for rent income. So this one was for rent income. On the 26th, we received money from VSIG and he is a debtor. And then we also received money from E Trout, who is also a debtor, put it into debtor's control. The one I want to focus on a bit is the one on the 30th from S. Sophie. It says that S. Sophie paid half of her account owed to date. You should have got 2,881. Okay, these two were both on the same day. So we received money from E. Trout as well as from S. Sophie. Now, how did we get 2,881? I'm going to show you now. So if we page back into my books on page 77, it says that at the beginning of September, the business had three debtors that owed the following amounts. So S. Sophie owed 1,112. Okay, so that is what her opening balance, opening balance, if we can put it like that, that is what she started with at the beginning of the month. Okay, so that doesn't just disappear. So for August, she still owed me 1,112. In the beginning of September, that doesn't just disappear. So when working out a debtor's account of what they owe me, we need to use the following formula. Their opening balance, or we actually call it account rendered. So their account rendered plus whatever credit sales we made to them. So if we're looking at it from the business perspective, it will be my credit sales. But to the debtor, it will be what they purchased on credit. So plus any of their credit purchases minus payments made. Okay, so S. Sophie's opening balance was 1,112. Then she purchased goods on credit for 1,900 and 2,750. And we can find that over there. S. Sophie, 1,900, and then 2,750. And then we also need to take into account, has she made any payments? So we look here in my CRJ, have I received any money from her? S. Sophie, no, this is the first time she's paying me. So how I got this amount, I took what she owed me at the beginning of the month, plus any credit sales, which I would find in my DJ, and then minus any payments made. But she hasn't made any payments yet. This is her first payment. So her total account was 5,762. But in my transaction, it says that she paid half of her account owed to date. So if you say 5,762, divided by two, that is going to give you 2,881. Right, so that is how I got the amount for S. Sophie. Right, I'm gonna make another video for the rest of um, the transactions uh, answers. So that's it for this video, tune in for the next one.